Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Renegades. We've got a couple things going on here. So apparently a weapons merchant, gadget merchant, and then we have these two different recruit options. I assume we're gonna have to replace one of these guys, but I could be wrong. Let's go and do the recruits first, I think. And judging by their names, we have an empath and we have Aegis. Aegis sounds like some type of coming back to life type of situation. And an empath would be somebody that can maybe control things with their mind or like boost others with their mind. So I'm not sure if we get any information about these guys, but I was hot on the trail of the Chrono Lamp of Drexky A, but saving the galaxy seems more important, although the lamp is worth a bundle. It could certainly help our squad's defense. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see what we get from empath. By the power of the Chakralaka, the great noob age of Goddess of Crystals, I'll make sure the Imperium's aura bleeds blood red. Get ready to be reincarnated as a space mite. <laughs> She's offering cut rate deals on aura cleansing, chakra scrubbings, and past life regression therapy. I wish you knew what any of that was. Me too. Um, Let's try Aegis. Oh, it looks like it just added it. Joins the Renegades. Okay, so it is an either-or situation. And they come in as level one. So, presumably, we want to spend these upgrades here. So, this charges shields on self. It's a free action. Doesn't end the turn. And it cancels damage over time effects. Let's take it. She's pretty tanky. Looks like. With uh, 150 shields. She's actually got more shields than our other tank right now. And health isn't too far behind. Gets a card for 30 max shields, last two combat. Yes, I think we'll take this. Although Sunder. Although Sunder is pretty good. I don't I just don't want her to be left behind. So this way everybody's on the same level. Okay. So I'm happy we've got two tanks. Frontline, tanks, tanks, backlines, uh, shields, and AoE, and then high damage output. I think that works. Go to next planet? No. We have 113. Let's check out what the gadgets are like. New gear. So Reaver chip, this is an imp. These were implants and devices. You need to be level 4, of which we are not. 16% damage on heavy attacks, 5% damage versus health. And how much do these cost? 14? That's not bad. Let's see what the weapons are like. Level 3 and then level 4 is coming up soon. Okay. So we could go for the blade. Penetrates armor. Steals 2-3 to three armor. That's actually kind of cool. On heavy and normal attacks. That's actually kind of cool. Then this could be Johnny Cool Hair. Laser Gauntlets, probably for our new tank. And then Concussive Rifle that nobody can actually use. So let's buy this. We're going to store these ones. The Particle Blaster. And the Laser Gauntlets. So when they hit level 4, we'll try and uh, remember to put these on. And then for gadgets, looks like this can only be on our new person. Huh. Now, I wonder why that is. Why can these only be added to her? Oh, no. Okay. I think this can be equipped by anybody. Yeah, okay, so that little arrow beside them is showing it can be equipped by anyone. Let's, uh, who do you want to give this to? Damage on heavy attacks. Let's go here. And then these other ones, we can maybe buy one. A bunch of armor here. We can go, like, super tank. Let's buy this and we'll hold the rest. So we have the Pyro Blade. 
and the reaver chip. And then we have this, I, I guess, would be the devices that we can also attach to people. Laser gauntlets, we can't do yet. Just want to make sure that we're not overlooking anything here we might have in our inventory. That concussive blaster. All right, cool. So we have seven, our next upgrades in a little bit from now. But I think we're good to go. Awesome. Go to the next planet. <laughs> cool. Squad is up. So Menku's liberated. Uh, Norosh, let's rock and roll. All right. So whose relationships do we want to keep improving? I think... I think if we focus on Johnny Cool Hair and her, I think that's probably good for us. Tax cause bleeding. Let's give this to him. This looks like it's going to move us into partners instead of companions. I'm hoping to get some type of combo attack. What does that smell? Friendship is magic. What smell? That piercing rotten egg mixed with ground beef smell. It's uh, overpowering. That's my natural... Call Colwinoxian Essence. The old glands are really working overtime tonight. And we really are from different worlds. Combo powers. Boom! Okay. Combo for Righteousness. Lots of damage. Huge crits and a stun. Only costs 20. That is not bad. That is not bad. We have a, uh, a free one to spend here for extra hearts. So let's build this as well. Now I'm curious to see what happens when we get to, like, max level. Uh, we don't need to heal health. Armor piercing for 25%. Max shields last two combats. Let's put this on... Hmm. Yeah, let's put this on her, just to keep that relationship going. Plus, the other one has higher shields. And then we have two points left. Attack speed, five seconds, lasts two combats. Let's do this. Let's put it on Johnny Cool here. Okay. So taking what we learned in the first planet, we'll try and get as much of this map as we can. You honor me, mother. Zandro Sapan. All right. Hates light attacks. Enraged. Has more health. Yup. Yeah. Advanced shields. More shields. And attacks do concussion damage. Resistance to heavy. That kind of sucks. Weakness versus AoE. And has low armor. Yeah, okay. The uh, the defense versus heavy kind of hurts us a little bit. That's pretty significant. Here's the behemoth. Loathes stuns. If stun goes rabid and retaliates with deadly force. Okay, can attack twice per round. Oh, this scares me. This scares me. Extra defense versus staggers? I'm not sure what the plan's going to be there. Health regen, more armor, hates taunts, defense versus staggers, increased health, weak versus pyro, which we don't have. Uh, actually, that's not true. I think we might have that. Um, enrage when stuns, attacks are faster, attacks do sh extra shield damage, defense versus combo, concussion damage, defense versus concussion, defense versus normal. Well, isn't that, isn't that great? Isn't that peachy? Welcome to Norosh, archaeological cap capital of the Titan Drift. In better times, I'd suggest a package tour of some important ruins. But for now, let's just focus on shutting down the next Imperium behemoth. Same deal as Menku. The Imperium has set up force field and perimeter defenses. J5 will take care of the barriers. You take care of the drones. You got three days. Happy hunting. We beat one behemoth. So we can definitely beat a second one, unless the second one's more powerful, which it almost certainly is. Yeah. yeah I'd say so. So where's the drop? 
Where? Okay, so the drop is here. Yeah. There's only one entrance, which is above. And so from our side, shield enhancements probably okay. Area's about to lock down there. Full healing, we probably want to save. Food cards, damage. I think if we can try to get some of this rare equipment, probably ideal. Epic equipment up there. How many moves would it take? So one. Uh, there's, some, there's basic equipment here. That'd be one move. Two moves up to get credits. Then we have to come over to this side. This area is about to get locked down. One, I don't even see what it's protecting. Nothing really. All right. Well, let's start going left. We'll get whatever this is, hopefully. Let's breach. We'll see how Aegis performs. Combat basic squad formation. Okay. Both your heroes and your enemies start combat in a set formation. The position in the formation determines whether they can be hit or not by certain attacks. Oh, okay. So this is what that other skill is referring to uh, that we have on our kind of healer shield provider. Frontline enemies can be hit by any attack. Backline enemies can only be targeted after all enemies in the front row have been eliminated. Attacks that can target any position can bypass the front line. These attacks display a special targeting icon. Okay. With a reticle to signify that they can target any position. That's so crazy that like this far in, we're still learning new stuff. Okay. Front row has to go them back line, or we can use that little icon, or we can use a special skill. Cool. Haymaker. That seems like it's going to hurt. So he's coming in with a 61 and doing concussion damage. We haven't really seen that yet. Regenerates health every round. This guy is going for our other tank. Batter 21 times 3. Damage versus shields. It's a pulse attack. Defense versus pulse and atta attacks do pulse damage. Well. So here's that skill I was talking about. Titan strength. So, we can make somebody attack any position if we want. And it's a free action. So, there's our combo for 20 Fury. Trick shot with Fury. And then our light attacks. Okay. So, what do you want to do here? You want to break this guy straight away? Or do you just want to focus on damage? I think we focus on damage here. We can probably break on our second attack. This is going to break and then start doing some health damage. Uh, he's going to hit her and it's going to be a crit because we came down here. So if he crits her... What's he looking to do here? A lot. 92. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. We can do... Uh, we can bestow shields, which will come after that attack to replenish this. And then our new one... I think we just go here for more crits. Yeah, this is like the strategy layer of this is a lot deeper than I thought it would be, and I love it. So we take the crit here, it's just shields. We're going to replenish that, anyways. We're rattled. I want to see what that does for us. Or to us, I should say. Boom. Okay, so there's the burn. He's healing 10 between rounds. 
ground pounds and AOE. But we're gonna we're gonna stagger him anyway. This guy's coming in quick though. It's a lot of damage if he crits. Uh, maybe we get some light attacks. I don't even we need. It's so close. It's so close. What is this guy doing? Is this some type of... Uh... Not sure what that was signifying. Were you showing like some type of protection? Rattled four means staggers delay 40% more. 40% defense versus shield damage. Who's he attacking? That's going to be a crit and then a bunch of AOE damage, but it's only shields being impacted here. So I think we can probably just focus on putting out regular damage here. We're not getting any crits from this. This does kill though. I wonder if we can kill with an AOE. No, not quite. 15 second push on this one versus 25. So maybe we take our, our 15 second push. Oh, that's not even enough damage. All right. Let's go here to kill this one. And then we're going to focus on staggering the other guy. Definitely going to drop a cleave in here. Oh, right, but I can't. Okay, so interesting. I can't even really, I can't even target this back line. So I'm not sure how to handle these attacks. I'm not sure how that works. Because I have to put it here, right? So I guess we'll just figure this out. I'm going to target here. He's, he's going to be dead. And then... You're attacking over here. I'm going to put shields up here. I really have no idea how this is about to go down. So dead, right? Regime changer. Okay, cool. Okay, so it does carry forward. It just doesn't show that on the preview. That's where things are going to get a little tricky. That's going to get very tricky. Okay. Now we have the ability to, to push back still. Probably want to go something like Blitz, which is definitely going to break. And I could even... Mm. Let's charge shields. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Free action just for fury. Okay. That's pretty nice. Since he's already broken, we're gonna save the uh, we're gonna save that next push for next round. Beautiful, beautiful. So he heals ten, but he's taking twenty-two from the fire damage. Oh, we, we don't get to keep that. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Because we we broke him, but then he takes that next hit. So I think that uses up another of his stagger. Uh, wait, who's he hitting here? The AoE. The one thing we can do, so if we have... Uh, we don't have the Fury, but when we do, we can use Trick Shot to stun. 
and I think that cancels the action completely instead of delaying it. Uh, so that would be a good thing to use right now if we wouldn't have used our Fury for the shields. But either way, he's only doing shield damage here anyway. Let's focus on getting crits out here. We might even be able to kill him, actually. Very close. Not quite. So if I cleave... Oh, it's almost there. Just means that we're going to take a crit on this. Can I, can I tank a crit? Yeah, I can. Fine by me. Shields come back at the end of the round or at the end of the uh, battle. Now we can just straight kill. Pumping up. So he's going to heal himself, get extra damage, and attacks go faster. Okay. Too bad it's not going to matter. Hey, nice job, squad. I mean, having four people is a significant improvement in its own, but... <sighs> Whoa. Okay. What is the gear that we want to equip right now? What's the best way to view my inventory? Probably just through squad, hey? So we have these gauntlets. 25% damage versus health, inflicts a radiated four. Uh, that has to be for her because he uses the guns. We could put it here, but we want our attacks. We want to focus on that. So let's level up our new person. Gains shield throw. Just light attack and target anybody. And does pretty good pushback. Celestial Smash is an AoE, which actually is quite a bit better than the previous one. And that plant explosive seems kind of fun too. But let's uh, go here so we can use the new weapon. Boom. 25% extra damage versus health, inflicts a radiated four, and steals armor on heavy and normal attacks. I'm all about it. Okay. Who's next? For a planet that thrives on tourism, locals sure aren't very friendly to tourists. I love all the quaint Norosh customs, like punching tourists in the back of the head and taking their hollow wallets. I'm always impressed by the Noroshian architecture. Nothing gets me more excited than earthquake space retrofitting. It's worth traveling for. This is going to be common tech. Inflicts extra 10 seconds of stagger on AoE attacks. And all other attacks do 5 seconds of stagger. Not bad. This is a level 4. 15% damage versus health on light attacks and stealing shields on all attacks. This can only be equipped by our new person. I'm actually thinking the extra 10 seconds of stagger on AoE would be nice. But we kind of lose out, like, on this part of it, because we're going to generally be healing or protecting. This is AoE as well. Mm. And we're not... Are we doing really any light attacks with her? Like, the stealing of shields is nice. Hmm. Let's do this. It's going to help us remain a little tankier. Man, 10 seconds of stagger on AoE. No, you know what? We're going to take we're going to take this. You can equip this. Spread the love a little bit. All right. So where do we want to head from here? We can go into this area before it gets locked down. But there's not really a huge benefit there. Other than 
jumping over to this side this area is about to get locked down next and then we would have like rare equipment so we could get here by end of day then we go one two three for more epic equipment and then we could come in here where's that uh healing where's the heal thing way down here unfortunately the other option is to go here for credits here for rare tech and then we could like yeah I don't know it doesn't feel that way doesn't feel great either I think over here is going to be better for us long term so this is this would be breach two this would be breach three and then we would go next day one two three get double chests and then we come over here for one uh two for the rare equipment and three maybe maybe we can get here unless i've counted wrong which is possible but and then i think we just get transported there anyways so let's try that let's try and work this perimeter see what happens let's do another battle breach it baby okay cool little uh totem pole sniper rifle type deal shield slam wait what's this being targeted marked less damage versus crit or less defense versus crit and cannot stealth don't even know what stealth is yet <laughs> that's awesome okay shield slam on our top tank you're attacking really early you're attacking late and you're just marking people right now interesting should we go a little aoe here push these guys back we break one get some crits on this front line i think so could use our own shield throw to hit anybody we want but I don't think we're gonna break this one next I think we'll focus on getting crits in here let me hold on a second so is our AoE is our AoE already pushing back enough I'm gonna check that again yes okay okay so it is going to push this one back. So we'll just focus on getting crits here. And then he's going to attack our tank, which is fine. You can drop a cleave here for a crit. And then just a regular straight shot. This will end up breaking, but doesn't really matter we're just trying to get the damage there radiated big time hammer time Okay. Oh, I didn't account for the fire damage. Now we just need an AoE hit. Easy peasy gone. Return fire though. Vengeful stance cannot be delayed. Lies chilled. All attacks slowed by 20 seconds. vengeful hit counter cannot be delayed free action now I'm curious if that will go off considering he'll be dead only one way to find out
We're all going for our top, our top tank there. Oh, I like this. We have a guard. I didn't catch that before. We can guard an ally. I wonder if I should cancel this power and bestow shields here. What would my other approach be then? We go a straight shot for a kill here. Then we could do something like slash for a crit on... Oh, hold on. Okay. So hold on. I can't even... So I have to actually defeat these guys in order as well. Like one. I guess these guys are technically on the back line. For some reason, I was interpreting this as being on the front. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I guess if we put this on, this should carry over once this one's dead. I kind of want to experiment with that so we understand it fully. This can attack anyone. Let's just do something like that. And then we'll bestow shields up here. Okay. Oh, so the counter does go off in a kill shot. Interesting. Okay, we got to remember that. We take these crits now. Unfortunate. And that just went and hit... Okay, so it hits a random one in the back line then. That's very confusing to follow. Maybe I'm missing an indicator somewhere, but... Alright, so now we only have back line left. We want a shield seer? I don't think so. I think if we want to avoid any damage here, if maybe we just go a blitz here. Push this guy all the way back. And then here we've got three bigger attacks that we can do. So there's one. We can get even a, a discharge off here if we want. And then we'll go with a big cleave for a kill shot. Or we can kill this one. Ooh, who do we want to die? Probably this dude. Probably the big guy. So broken and dead. Excellent. And then... We can't really uh, stagger here, but I could trick shot for a stun. Or I just go blitz and push him super far back on the timeline and see, see if we can get enough damage in here. We at least won't take any crits. Yeah, we're gonna be able to kill. Awesome. Hey, we're getting it. There's some weird mechanics with like the front and back line because we can't see a preview of what's going to happen. But we'll just have to learn to deal with it. A little bit of randomness never killed anybody. Getting heavy DNA drops here. Very cool. Okay. Who do we want to level up next? I'm, I'm thinking Sunder looks pretty cool. And this was in like the uh, tutorial, right? It's a huge armor, huge armor destruction on crits. Flies burning. But this is, this could be fun too. I think this one's easier to execute. 
Plus, we keep that tankiness up on the front line with the extra health. I want to double check that there's no, like, level 4 stuff sitting here. Oh, here we go. The extra armor. Boom. Take it. Look at that. That's insane. So 10 here. 150 shields. 26 and 60 shields. Yeah. I like that. Okay, guys. Let's take a break here. When we come back, we'll continue uh, in this planet. And uh, I'll try to go on that same path that we were talking about. Um, so around here... This is about to be locked down, so we'll have a fight there against this brute. And then we're going to go uh, up through here. And I think if we planned it correctly, we can go down and around to get to this uh, healing kit. And then we fight the, uh, the behemoth. So anyways, wish me luck. See you soon. Bye for now.